Hello, Bill Molino here. Well, we're one day away from Thanksgiving, and I need to say thank you to all of you. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Um, Guber the Traveling Bear and I in the past year have met so many wonderful historians. You can see a lot of those videos on Bill's History World. All you war gamers out there, thank you for watching. We're at almost 4,000 subscribers. Um, Every month I'm taking this YouTube money. Sometimes it's only a hundred bucks and other times it's several hundred. And uh, we're donating it to a historic site. And all you have to do is watch. Um, we're going to go over a few of the figures I'm working on. And don't forget the Goober calendar. Um, right now this YouTube video for Thanksgiving all the way to December 25th is helping Civil War trail signs, and we're at $238 right now. We may hit $300, bucks, which buys a sign for a historic site. Come on, let's look at what's on the Wargaming table. And David, David, Mr. Markle, I have a question for you. You know a lot about artillery. And a lot of you know that uh, we just wing things in the basement. So my, my paratroopers are completed. The World War II German paratroopers, the Airfix figures that were sent to me by Mr. Uh, JT. Um, I did the best I could. Um, you know, I have this macular degeneration thing maybe going on. So uh, Jim Shaw is an incredible painter and I really used his advice and I only did a, a little bit at a time. So Dave Markle, we have this little cut and craft thing. Now, I'm going to paint up which artillery piece should I use to go with it. Um, I have this thing, and I have the standard Mark's gun. I wasn't going to bother Josh to 3D print me something uh, for a game that's only going to be used once or twice. So let me know which one you think um, should get some painting and be used. Mr. Dave is a phenomenal war gamer, and um, he gave me a Whitworth a while back, and um, that thing has uh, seen a lot of action in a lot of different battles, including the Whitworth gun, not just the Civil War, but it's a bit the Box Rebellion, uh, Cartoon. It's amazing how that Whitworth, uh, Mr. Dave Markle, how that Whitworth gun was, uh, has been in a lot of games. So Goober the Traveling Bear is asking everyone to consider subscribing to the Bill's History World. I have so many awesome videos and historians in that, in that, uh, on that channel. And I get a lot of views, but I'm not getting many subscribers. So I could really use a little help with that channel. Now, as far as these figures, um, as you can see, we're not going to get able to flock them. Um, my wife had some health issues the last few days, everyone. Um, we got a little interesting, and so um, I'm now behind a little on things. Um, the wife comes first, and um, she's doing fine. Um, I think we're still going to try to go to Virginia and, and do things down there at the Virginia house. So I'm uh, very happy to say that um, all of you, thank you. All the historians out there that put up with my craziness, thank you. Um, if You'd be amazed of how much money this little bear has raised in the last two years for historic sites. And uh, between YouTube videos, board games, and, and also my grant money that I recently received. Now I am going to take wake island game with me and we may see if we can't play this down there in the virginia house and make a video of it um we may look at doing a raven feast game of the figures i have down there or world war one airplanes or jet fighters of the korean war now i probably will look at trying to do another Donald Featherstone book review in the background. And I have a lot more Donald Featherstone books than that's there. I think I have, I think around 70, 75 books. The last I knew in my catalog, I thought I had every one but one that I lent out. 
So, this Thanksgiving, um, on our way down on Route 301, we have one left John Wilkes Booth sign left to find. Uh, Goober and I have been unable to locate it. it turns out we we're on the wrong road. Uh, talked to Civil War Trails. They've been fantastic. So, if the weather is good and we have time, we will hit the last sign of the John Wilkes Booth Trail signs from his escape from Washington, D.C. all the way down to the Garrett Farm in Virginia. Goober and I have stopped at all of them now, but that one last one. I'd like to say also thank you to Bruce, Ronald McDonald, George in New Jersey, Sheriff John, so many of you um, over in England that watch this crazy channel. And uh, I really appreciate everything. It's really amazing. I'm just a chubby old old war gamer living in the 70s for wargaming. And I have uh, all of you watching. And if you're wondering, this table next week, I will get this cleaned up, I promise, probably starting Sunday night. And we'll get the um, the countryside of Belgium, France set up. It's going to be sort of a hypothetical thing. And we're going to have all the Belgium figures, uh, paratroopers and German infantry invading. Um, along with a lot of this early war armor um, from Ron Prellman and Josh. Including we're going to put in this crazy Belgian tank. Yes, the one with the turrets in the back. All right. So that's going to be interesting when we... Uh... Josh, by the way, painted this for me, too. And we also have some French tanks, which I did videos of. But you know what? One of them is right here. Might as well show it to you again, in case you missed the other video. And I'm going to be writing what they are on the bottom. Because I keep forgetting. Josh, I'm sorry I'm getting old. I was thinking about all the boxes and stuff I have here. And um, enormous amount of tubs of figures. And uh, when I do pass on, Josh is going to have probably a sore back by the end of the day. All right. So Goober the Traveling Bear and I want to say thank you. Thank you very much, all of you. For, and in America, this is a big holiday to, of giving thanks. So you, all of you in England, New Zealand, and Australia, and the land down under, um, thank you, too, for watching. And uh, also, if you have time, throw a prayer out for my wife. She's been having some issues this week. Thank you again. Stay safe, be kind, and be courteous, everyone. And stay warm.